Now what we want to do is determine the coterminal angle when we have it in degrees. So again, we want to determine what this angle is. All right, so 15 degrees. Remember, it has initial side. We're going to rotate another ray 15 degrees up, and we'll just call this rotation 15 degrees. All right. Now remember, we have our initial and our terminal side. So when determining coterminal angles, we want to find an angle that has the exact same initial and terminal side. Now, the next thing we want to make sure we understand is, remember, when we have our Cartesian coordinate system, <clears throat> our x and y axis are perpendicular to each other, right? So that represents 90 degrees, 90 degrees. So we could say if we rotate from here to here, that's 90 degrees, here to here, it's 180 degrees. Here to here is 270. And then here to here is 360. Right? So one revolution of a circle is 360 degrees. So if I rotate my angle from here to here, all right, remember I need to find another angle that has the exact same initial and terminal side. So if I just go from here, if I add 360 to it, I'm going to come back to the exact same point, right? Because 360 wraps around the whole circle. So therefore, here I can just take 15 degrees and add 360 degrees. So that's going to give me 375 degrees. And that's going to be the smallest coterminal angle that's positive, right? But remember now, if I just said coterminal angles, you could just keep on adding, adding, adding if you wanted to. But that's the smallest coterminal angle. Well, now I need to find a negative one. Well. Again, from here to here, to find the negative, what that's representing is me just going in this negative direction. So pretty much what I have is um, 15 degrees, right? Here's my 15 degrees, and I need sub to subtract um, 360. If I take 15 degrees, and if I subtract a revolution, that's going to give me what's left out in this negative angle. So now I subtract. 360 degrees. All right? So you can add in this case and subtract. That's going to give you your smallest positive and negative. Um, so therefore, this is going to equal negative 345. Does that make sense? OK, so usually, whenever you see an angle that's between 0 and 360 or 0 and 2 pi, you add and subtract 2 pi to find the coterminal angles. If it's larger than 2 pi or 360, you have to add twice or subtract twice, and sometimes even larger. Um, sometimes even more. My example is, another example I gave to students um, last class period is what if I have an angle?